Um, you know what, I think it's it's been a process just like just like everybody else. Um, it's been a lot of fun so far and um, luckily, you know, I've had really good teammates here that have, that have made the transition really easy and, um, you know, the coaches have, have also helped. And, um, so, so far so good, but uh, it's only early in the season, so we want to keep it going. Everybody talks about the biggest transition is the speed of the game. Has that been what you've noticed and how drastic is that difference? Yeah, it is. Uh, it's definitely faster. I mean, you're playing against older players, uh, better, faster, stronger, as they say, and um, it's very much, very, very, very true. And um, so far, so good. Like I said, um, you know, it's uh, that's the biggest adjustment. And um, you know, being able to go to Hawks camp first was a it was a big help, and uh, the speed there was was you know faster. So um, it's been a lot of fun. What do you think the last month has done for your confidence? Um, it's been it's been a lot of fun. Uh, you know, it, it's huge for for not only myself, but the the whole team's playing really well, really well. And uh, you know, when we're when we're winning games, playing playing our our brand of hockey, um, it instills confidence in, in all of us. So it's been uh, it's been a lot a lot of fun, like I said, and uh, we're enjoying it. The time of year, you kind of start to get a feel for everybody. Chemistry starts to build a little yeah. bit more. Are you feeling that? And give me an idea of your lines. Are you liking who you're playing with? Are you starting to know what's going to happen. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, you know, like you said, we're we're 20 games into the season there, and um, played with a, quite a few different guys right now. Um, so it's been uh, it's been it's been good, you know, getting to know um, new players and their tendencies, and uh, it's starting to come to come together and um, have really good chemistry with Fort Tan and, and Johnson right now. So um, we want to continue continue to build on that and uh, get better game by game. How do you think you guys have turned it around on the PK for the last couple of games? Um, you know, it's been a lot of hard work. Um, we've been we've been doing a lot of video and. Um, you know, attention to detail, and um, you know it's been really good the last couple couple games, like you said. And uh, you know, it's uh, the biggest thing for us is just uh, attention to detail and, and working our working our tails off. So it's uh, it's gone really well. Manitoba's first in the league or first in the conference so far. How have you guys prepared for that? Um, I, I don't think we've prepared for them any different than than any, any other game. Um, obviously, Manitoba is a great test. Um, good hockey club, like you said, and. Um, we're looking forward to it. It's going to be a big game here at uh, the BMO Center, and we're uh, we're excited. What was it like for you last week when you got the hat trick? And I assume you had a few in the queue last year, or has it been a while? Uh, you know, I, I'm actually not sure when the last one was. It might have been last year, but um, felt great. Um, you know, any, any way I can help the team, uh, whether it be offensively or, or defensively, and on that night it, it happened to be. Uh, offensive, and uh, you know, just it just felt good to be able to contribute and um, help the team win. That the way you you're playing, the way you've developed, it's hard to believe you were not drafted. Do you have any theories on why you were overlooked, and has that left a little bit of a chip on your shoulder? Um, you know, I, I believe that everybody has a different path, and um, you know, I've learned over the years that um, there's there's different ways to, to get to where you want to be, and. Um, you know, not getting drafted obviously um, motivated me, and um, you know maybe a little bit of a chip on my shoulder. But um, you know, I don't know if I'd be where I am today without not getting drafted. So um, you know, I'm I'm very thankful for the opportunity that um, I have here, and uh, just take advantage of it every day. Have you heard like your lack of size might be a reason, and, and are you encouraged when you look up at the Blackhawks and see a smaller Alex Debrinket doing what he's doing? Does that encourage you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, like you said, the Brinkett's, uh, you know, he's, he's having a great start and uh, a huge game last night. And um, there's lots of guys around the league that uh, are around the NHL that don't uh, necessarily have uh, big frames. And um, that's encouraging. I think that the, the game's really moved into the, the speed aspect and uh, being able to play with and without the puck. So it's, uh, it's encouraging for sure. Um, and uh, yeah, it's exciting.